What's up guys, Skinner here. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly three decks that is the best at the raft, the new hot location. So in the raft, first to fail, this breaks out a six cost card, hit cost zero. But before we get into it, don't forget to slap the like button real hard and sub to the channel for free for more awesome moth snap content. I'm going to link some videos in the description down below for your reference. Now let's begin. So the raft is kind of where you want to swarm. So the first deck I recommend is a Silver Server Dazzler deck. Yeah, this deck is not on the channel yet, but honestly, it will be soon because I find this deck really fun. But the most important thing about the raft is you want to fill the location up real soon. And Brute helps you with it. No one does it better than Brute. On turn 3, it gets 3 bodies onto the raft. So let's say a turn 1 or turn 2, you can play either Nebula, Goose, Mojo. And then on turn 3, you just fill up the raft right away. That is like the fastest way you can ever do it. And um, it's really difficult for your opponents to outpace you. I mean, the best they can do is fill up the raft on turn 3 with a ton of 1 cost or 2 cost cards. But hey, that is not easy at all. So with the Brute in the deck, you are very likely to win the raft. And that might just force your opponent to surrender. Okay, okay, now let's talk about the deck for a bit. The SS Desla deck features, of course, Silver Server. So, all the three cost cards that you have played will gain plus two power when you play Silver Server, well, usually on your final turn. So, as you can see in the stack, there are a ton of free cost cards, which Desla is actually just buffed to a free cost and um, it kind of got a rework. So I think Tesla is viable right now, especially with this deck. Which is why I put it here, just to try it out. A Tesla, ongoing, plus 2 power for each location that's full on your side. Yeah, which makes it even better with the raft as the new hot location, right? You want to fill up the raft, and you want to fill up as many locations as you want, so your Tesla can be great. So if you fill up all 3 locations, Tesla is going to have plus 6 power, which makes it a 3-8. Not bad at all. One thing you gotta be careful of is um, if you fill all locations and then your Desla is at 8 power, it's actually great because it does not get killed by a Shang-Chi. But if you buff it again with Silver Server, then it's 10 power and it's very susceptible for the Shang-Chi counter. So yeah, that is one thing you gotta note. And then... The others are pretty simple. They're just the really good free cost cards like um, Juggernaut. You want to throw in Storm, just go for it. I'm not going to stop you because I like to run Storm into Juggernaut. That's pretty good. But right now I want to try out Shadow King, which resets everything to their base power. So if you're running against something that like to buff themselves, especially the newest Kitty Pride. Yeah, we all know how crazy this card is. But, you know, Shadow King just resets his power. And, um, hmm. Yeah, Kitty Pride is so prevalent right now. So I think Shadow King is a good addition. And, of course, it's a 3 cost that can be buffed by SS. So even if it doesn't do its job, it's still going to be a good 3-3 three, three body. Then, of course, there's Polaris. You yank a card over. Say, okay, if you want to... Um, stop them from filling up the raft. You could just go Polaris, pull away their card, and then the next turn you can fill it up and maybe get a draw onto that. Then there's Maximus. Yeah, Maximus is just a great card. Usually you want to play Maximus on the final turn so you don't give them the extra card draw, but sometimes it just doesn't matter. Especially if you got a Sarah on turn 5. Playing Sarah on turn 5 is very important with this deck simply because you can play three three cost cards instead of two on turn six, which is just gonna be so devastating for your opponents to deal with. They might expect, okay, yeah, their best play is gonna be a Maximus plus Silver Server, but nope, with the help of Sarah, you can play a lot more. Say, I don't know, uh, Shadow King to shut them down, Cosmo to shut them down, alongside your Maximus plus Silver Server. Yeah, that is what we call value. And uh, that's pretty much it for the deck. And oh yeah, of course, there's Nebula right here. You slap it down on turn 1. And if they don't play cards into the Nebula lane every single turn, 
that Nebula is going to gain some power. Of course, it's Goose there to control your opponent. Uh, I mean, if you find those really high power, I mean, high cost cards annoying, like, you know, Galactus, maybe, you know, Death, all that. Oh, okay. Death sometimes might be lower cost, but, um, like, you know, Destroyer, um, all that great stuff. Then Goose is great to stop them. They want to, you know, Spider Man control your lane. Goose say, not in my house. Just get out of here. No one can be played there. Those really high cost cards. Uh uh, uh uh. And then, of course, Mojo. In this deck, we want to fill up locations really quick. So Mojo is actually really nice here just because it's a casual 2 8. It's very easy for this deck to fill up locations, especially with the Brute. So Mojo is going to be a great addition to the deck. So this is the guys. The first deck is the Silver Server Dazzler deck, which will be on the channel soon. So if you don't want to miss out on that, definitely sub for free and stay tuned. Now let's move on to the next one. Well, my second deck recommendation is going to be a Sarah Miracle deck. Yeah, Sarah Miracle is just great because, you know, it's always going to be in my deck list. Uh, it's honestly great because it can counter anything. What you gotta do is um, play the Kitty Pride Angela combo, which I've already mentioned. Kitty Pride being so great right now. You play her every turn, she gets spunked back and plus two power. And you can combo it like a ton of times with Angela. And that lane is just unstoppable. Imagine an Angela lane with, you know, Nightcrawler. Yeah, that's a good combo, right? But imagine doing that every single turn. Hmm, that is just so yummy. And of course, when you play a ton of cards, you have Bishop. So every time you play a card, yeah, Bishop is going to gain one power. So Bishop and Angela are the win conditions of the deck. Just slap them down early and give them a ton of power so your opponents cannot deal with them. And of course, just like the SS deck, that's Sarah. You play Sarah on turn 5, and then on turn 6, you can play huge combos. Like every card is going to cost one less, and these are going to cost one... These are going to cost two, and um, the counter cards with Shang-Chi and Enchantress are only going to cost three, so you can potentially play them both if need be. Okay, so with this stack I already mentioned, you just want to go Angela, Bishop into Kitty Pride, but then there's the Nova into Killmonger combo as well. You play that late game, you destroy the Nova, and everybody on the board is going to get a plus one buff from Nova, and that's going to be so great. Especially if you play your bishop into Mysterio hit monkey combo, and then you destroy everything with Nova Killmonger, then the board is going to be so huge that your opponents can only cry and surrender. Now let's move on to the third deck. Okay, so this is our third deck, the Deadpool Destroy deck. Yep, this deck, as you can see, is very low cost, so we can just go for stuff like Hood, Deadpool. Nova, or, you know, Bucky Barnes, even. And then we put down a Carnage, or Deathlock, or Venom to destroy them. And that is going to easily fill up the raft. Yeah, it's surprising how great this deck is at filling up stuff. Like, turn one, you can go for, say, a Hood, then turn two, Deadpool into uh, the Demon, and then turn three, you already fill up the raft. It's so fast. It's one of the only decks that can compete when it comes to, you know, filling up the raft with the Brute. Yeah, this is pretty good. And even if you spend some um, energy early with Bucky Barnes and stuff, you can still get a ton of power into the raft, which means you don't clock yourself with really useless stuff, but you play your own power very early on as well. So that is a very intimidating deck for you guys to try out. Of course, Later in the game, you want to destroy your Deadpool a ton of times with stuff like Carnage, Venom, and Deathlock. And finally, you want to play down like a big Deadpool alongside a Taskmaster. Or if you destroy enough stuff, you can play your Death into a No. And that's going to destroy your opponents real hard. So there you go, guys. These are the three decks I recommend for the new hot location, The Raft. So hopefully you guys are going to have fun. If you have learned something from this video, don't forget to slap the like button real hard and sub to the channel for free for more awesome Marvel stuff content, especially if you're a new viewer. If you guys have not seen my Galactus video after the nerfs yet, definitely check those two out. 
I'm gonna link those in the description down below for your reference. So there you go, guys. Enjoy the new hot location. Have a nice weekend. And peace out.